Hi, this is Tech Tips with Brittany, and I'm here today to talk to you about automating hashtags for conferences. I once heard that Twitter or Instagram is like some big party where a whole bunch of people are talking about all different things. And hashtags are like signs above the different groups of people that announce what the people are talking about. And you want to be at the party, but you want to be able to join in on the group that's talking about the stuff that's fun and interesting to you. Many events, even virtual ones, have official hashtags so we can tell people what part of the party we're all talking about. Of course, you can throw in your own hashtags too, but by using the official tags, it helps people at the same event connect their posts together in the bigger social media sphere. And it can help you reach a broader audience of folks that are interested in the same event. When you're going to post a picture or a comment that you want to post as part of this event, sometimes they're hard to remember or awkward to format, or it's annoying to get to the symbols or number keyboard. But you want to get in on that party group as soon as you take that picture or think of that comment, because sometimes a moment later is a moment too late and you've missed the window. For example, when I'm watching a live Apple event, I want my comments in the Twitter party to be as relevant and quick as they possibly can. So I might create one that says hashtag Apple event. And then there's also the accessibility angle. Screen readers need cues to read out hashtags to folks who are visually impaired so that they can join our party too. Screen readers do best when you capitalize acronyms and then capitalize the first letter of an important word in the hashtag. Because there aren't spaces in a hashtag, they need other types of cues to tell them how to read out the hashtag properly. Automation is the way to quickly reference and format your hashtags so you can grab them super fast to use immediately in your social media posts. One of the ways that you can make this all a little bit easier is by creating a keyboard shortcut on your iPhone. Let's take a look at it. So we're going to go into settings and down into general and keyboard. And you can actually create all kinds of keyboard shortcuts uh, for things you type all the time. You'll probably notice some very nerdy ones in mine. So it's called text replacement. And I've got lots of things in here. Then you hit the plus sign at the top right. Where it says phrase, that's the final thing you want it to come out. So in this case, the actual hashtag. I've actually copied mine to my note and I'm going to copy it. This is for the International Conference on ADHD that we're gonna have in November virtually because it's 2020. And so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that here under the phrase. Now, I'm also heavily involved in the ADHD coaches organization. So that means I want my hashtag normally to contain both the ADHD conference hashtag, but also the hashtag that we are using for the ADHD coaches organization, which actually doesn't change year to year. So I'll go in and copy that one. And then I'll have them both in there. I can always delete one if I want to, but this way they can both pop up because this is really about saving me brain space and remembering the hashtag and less about saving time. So I'd rather have one shortcut I remember that contains all the things and just delete what I don't actually want to use. You may choose to do it differently. There's a few things to remember in your keyboard hashtag shortcut. You want to have it start with something you don't type all the time in case you accidentally trigger it at the wrong time. For example, I had one for the Mandalorian, this is the way, and it was THI. Well, that's great because my iPhone will suggest THI, but if I haven't seen that part come up, it'll accidentally autofill this is the way when maybe that's not what I mean to. There's a time and a place for this is the way just not always in the middle of a professional sentence. So for this one, we're gonna come up with one that is easy to remember. And the interesting thing is you can actually switch them. If you go to a lot of conferences or cons throughout the year, you can just change it, because a lot of times they'll include the year. I have before used one that was, one that I would type accidentally a lot, in this case, C-O-N. This time I'm gonna make it a little bit more different in English, the letter Q is a magic letter because there are almost no words that start with a Q that don't immediately have a, a U afterwards. That means that without switching to your symbols keyboard, you can type a Q before a word and have that as your default and then know that it's gonna end up 
replacing words right. I'll show you what I mean. So I want to remember con. I can remember con, right? The great thing about that is you use it whether you really mean convention or whether you mean a conference. And it's a little bit universal that way. So I could switch throughout the year which one I'm doing. So I'm going to make my shortcut be Q C O N because I'm not using the letter Q other places. It's not going to screw me up and do the this is the way in the middle of a sentence. So I have my shortcut. That's the letters you actually type. And the phrase, which is in this case, the hashtags I want to apply when I am sending out a tweet or an Instagram about the ADHD conference. And again, the important thing is that the shortcut is something that you are going to remember. It's individual to you. So do a little bit of thinking about what you're likely to remember. By default, I add Q to lots of things. As long as you don't have too many things that you know start with C-O-N in your life, you, you'll probably end up being fine. So I'm gonna save it. And I'm going to open up my drafts because that's my default. Here's where you put text place and I'll, and I'll try it out. Q C O N and see down there, it's suggesting the autofill. I'll hit space and it's going to autofill my hashtag. It's capitalized the way I want to have it capitalized for screen readers. And I'm pretty happy about it. There you go. There's the hashtag. It's easy for me to remember Q C O N and it's easy for me to insert whenever I'm doing any kind of social media post. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.